Namaste and welcome to React Bits. In this episode, we are going to talk about error handling in Flutter. And today I'll talk about two things. One, catching exceptions and giving meaningful information to the user. And next is reporting all the unhandled exceptions or errors to the error reporting service such as Firebase Crasslytics. For the demonstration, I am using my Flutter Firebase starter project which is available in the GitHub. You can check it out there. And I am using the feature Riverpod branch. Uh, in this branch, I have implemented Riverpod as the state management solution. Okay, so talking about error handling, first, first let us talk about catching exceptions and reporting errors to the user in a meaningful manner. Okay, let's look at this sign in function. This sign in function is called from our login form. So in the widgets, there we have a login. And in the login, when we tap on the login button, we call this function using the river pod state management. We call the sign in function. And if there is any error, okay, if there is any error, we report error to the user with a snack bar. So let us check how it responds to the error right now. So I tap the login. So this user account does not exist. So it should give me an error. So let's tap login. One thing to notice here is that even though we are catching the error, the VS Code debugger is pausing and giving us the platform exception. This only happens in debug mode and uh, only in the editor. So no need to worry about this. See, we get back the error masses that we have done with two string, but the error masses includes some extra information which we do not want. So how to handle the exceptions properly? First, to handle the proper exceptions properly, we need to know the type of exception. And to know the type of exception, we can either check the documentation or in debug mode, we can simply do is keep a breakpoint here. And again, try this. So right now, the debugger is itself pausing with an exception platform exception. So we already know the type, but sometime, but most of the time debugger will not pause like this because we have already caught the exception. So to know the exception, let's wait. So when we have a breakpoint, our debugger pauses on that breakpoint. And when we go here, this E is our exception that we caught. And here, we can see that the exception is of type Firebase auth exception. It is of type Firebase auth exception. So we can catch that exception and this exception has different properties like code and masses. So for the user, we need to show the masses, which is the correct string that we want to display. So how to catch once we know the type of exception, we can catch it. So how to catch exception with the type here? Let's add another statement on Firebase auth exception catch E. So now it catches the Firebase auth exception and we know that Firebase auth exception has the message. So just copy these lines and instead of two string, we use masses because we know Firebase auth exceptions. If we look at it, we see that it has masses, code, email, credential, etc. So we know it has a masses. So we set the masses. Now, if we try to log in, let me just remove this. So under breakpoints in VS code in debug panel, if you 
on check the on cut exceptions it will no longer pause on those exceptions so let's tap on login we should pause here login see we successfully catch this exception and we are paused here and we can now show the proper error message there is no user record corresponding to this identifier so this is how we can catch each and every exception and finally sometimes even if we catch so many other exceptions we finally do not know the exact type of the exception on that cases we can simply use catch without mentioning the type of exception so that it catches all the remaining types of exception that is not caught before that so to display the general exceptions we can use to string method to get the message normally so this is how we can catch exceptions in any method like we are performing a http request or working with firebase like this firebase authentication firestore anything we can catch and display the proper error message and in order to display the error message i am using the state management with change notifier here if you are not using that you could simply throw an error from here so instead of returning this what i could do was throw e throw e so when i throw this what we need to do is after throwing from here we finally need to catch it here so in widgets login instead of this what i can do is here i can use now this will not work because it will throw an exception it will throw another exception and we are not pausing an exception so it's not showing that exception so let's run on that we pause on platform exception that's fine that's fine see now finally we throw an exception here which is not caught so it's pausing so here what we need to do is if we are not using state management here we can again use try catch similarly firebase auth exception catch e and here we can use this snack bar to show the error so instead of this we show e dot message okay okay so if we tap login right now so platform exception that's fine see now we do not pause because we caught that exception and we are showing the error message so this is how we can catch any kind of exceptions and display the proper error message and finally in your app if you forgot to catch some error message so we need to report it to a error reporting service and for that flutter provides two method one flutter dot flutter error dot on error so this method flutter error dot on error is called whenever any error from flutter side is any error on the dart side is occurred so on dart errors you can catch it like this and you can call the call your error reporting service for example crashlytics has a record flutter error method which we can call when flutter error dot on error occurs and this has to be called in main function make it async and call visit flutter bindings dot ensure initialized initialize firebase app of or if you are using sentry you can follow the sentry documentation to handle the error like this and next to catch the platform side errors like platform exceptions and other errors that are returned by platform you can use run zone guarded and if you are using flutter version less than 1.17 you can use run zoned instead of run zoned guarded so using run zone guarded you can run app like this and you can report the error as it returns the error in a function which we can report using crashlytics dot record error error and stack trace this will send the records or errors to the 
Crashlytics which we can review and provide fixes to our application in an update. So this is all about error handling in Flutter. Hope it was useful for you. Thank you everyone. See you again.